We're here to help you through this difficult and uncertain time. Our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is here to answer your questions on the virus. Good morning, Dr. Coley. Good morning, Corey. So first question, will gargling with hot salt water help kill coronavirus in the throat? So unfortunately, there's no evidence that gargling with hot salt water kills the virus. The virus really survives in our nasal passages more so than our throat. So there's really no way that, that we can inactivate the virus with hot salt water. Okay, second question, can we wash latex gloves mm -hmm. to reuse them? If so, how do we clean them? Well, I commend people for trying mm -hmm. to conserve the personal protective equipment because that's important. But unfortunately, the latex gloves are really designed for single use. And if you wash them um, repeatedly, you may actually damage or destroy the surface of the gloves. And the tears may even be microscopic, so you can't actually see them. So I would not recommend washing latex gloves. Instead, I would say it's probably better to use rubber gloves if you are going to use gloves and try to wash those because those are designed to be washed multiple times. You can understand why so many people are asking that because there's a shortage and all that, yeah. but yeah, don't yeah. do it. And third, a viewer wants to know what mm -mm. the criteria for being tested is in Colorado. Yeah, so there's been a huge shift in this in the in the last few days. And at this point, due to you know the limited number of tests, we're only prioritizing testing for certain people. And that's people who have symptoms and are admitted to the hospital. So people who are really having more severe symptoms with this condition or people who have symptoms and fall into one of those high risk groups, that being pregnant women, people over the age of 60, those with chronic medical problems with cancer or those who are immunocompromised. So people with mild symptoms uh, would not meet criteria for testing if they can be managed at home. And people with no symptoms at all and a potential exposure at this point do not meet criteria for testing either. Because again, we're trying to really prioritize those limited number of tests that we have. Now, having said that, the FDA has now, you know, expedited approval of a new test that takes 45 minutes. And we're being told by the White House um, team that it's going to be widely available. So as the testing grows, it's possible that those criteria may get relaxed and loosened. But at this point, they're relatively strict. Yeah, pretty limited. Real quick, just a question for you. It seems yeah. like, at least in Colorado, a lot of people are trying to flatten the curve. I know we've seen in other states, maybe not so much, where yeah. we saw the Florida beaches packed and stuff. Is it still too soon to tell whether or not we're, we're making an impact in that curve or not? Yeah, great question. It's too soon, yeah. so don't give up. You know, hopefully we are making an impact. We need to keep trying today so that we can see those results in a week or two weeks, because by definition in a pandemic, we're automatically a few days behind. And because this virus has a two to 14 day incubation period, what we do today, you know, may not show up for, for 14 days. Um, so we might see the, the benefits of that social distancing today in a couple of weeks. So, so keep at it, stay home, and you know, just keep doing that social distancing because that's the best thing we can do right now. Absolutely, everyone's responsible for that. Dr. Coley, really appreciate it.